Cup. Lindon, you won for the second time yeah. the Gold Cup. Yeah. What is the feeling right now? No, it's, you know, given everything else that's gone on this year, it's really amazing. So, still, still sinking in. You, st you realize that it's the only team that has the record of winning in the US in the same year and in England, Queen's Cup and Gold Cup. You realize you... Yeah, you I guess that's, that's history, yeah? It's never been done, never huh? Been done. So, yeah. Well, you know, it's been a good team, good organization, good chemistry, and of course, you know, you got Facundo at the heart of it, who's, I think he's made his point today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me the inside the field. How was the, the match itself? You know, it was a great match. It was really was a, a good match. You know, I mean, I think <clears throat> the sportsmanship on both sides was high. Um, you know, I, it was it was very physical and very intense. But you know, even after I, I hurt my hip in the fifth, in the sixth, you know, Rashidi rode into me and. And obviously I was in a bit of pain and he saw that and he eased up on it. And I said to him, no, don't ease up on me. But, you know, it was just, he was such a gentleman. So um, it was um, it was a nice clean game. It felt fast. I don't know if you guys thought it was fast from the outside, but it felt fast in the field. And it really was very physical. How proud are you f of your horses right now? I, I, we saw you taking even Cambiaso out of a play when he was about to score. I, I mean, is you're in the peak of your horses organization in this moment you think or yeah you know I mean look you I don't I don't know that the game ever stands still right when we first came to the game and started investing in horses God whenever that was you know um, probably almost 10 years ago now and it was a different world back then with horses and people said sponsors couldn't get well mounted and you know we proved it, we could change that and um, But, you know, it's not going to stop here, you know. Somebody's going to come along and take it to the next level. And so, you know, you can't stand still. You've got to keep investing. And, you know, you look at the strings of Facundo and Adolfo, and, you know, those guys are true professionals, you know. They put every penny they have back into those horses. So it really is. Um, I just don't know how the umpiring is going to keep up with the speed of the game. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to keep improving. What we can expect of Sakara for the next year? Well, you know we're not playing in the U.S. Um, we had a dispute on handicaps with the USPA, which I think was was very foolish on their part, um, which is unfortunate for Polo. Uh, it was due to be a great rivalry. So we'll just sit out the U.S. season and we'll uh, focus on the U.K. season. And, you know, we, if, if the excitement of this year is anything to go by, there's going to be plenty of excitement for us. So You will have a power, horsepower from the U.S. and England here, who will stop you? Well, you know, y y you know, you say that, but you know, some of the, y as I say, you got to keep investing. The horses get older, you know. We did actually bring in already this year. Um, when I saw that the team was going well in the Queens, and I knew we weren't going to play the U.S. Open next year, um, I actually shipped in the top horses already. So you already saw them out there today. Um, you know, we've got we've got a handful more back in the states, um, but most of them are already here. All right. Well, congratulations. You really deserve it. Thank you so much. Huh? Appreciate. Thank you.